Oh yes, I went full out for this. <laughs> Oof. All right, what's up, guys? So today I wanted to review one of my all-time favorite shows. It is the Netflix Daredevil series. It's a series I absolutely love to death. It's so fucking awesome. So I can't wait. As you can tell, I'm all excited. I was ready. This is my Halloween costume. I'm the black suited Daredevil. I literally just went into my closet and got the best I could, and that's what I got out of it, and it was pretty damn fun. But yeah, guys, I wanted to talk about the show because it's in my top five of all time. I loved it. I actually read the comic books. Here's The Man Without Fear and Born Again, both by Frank Miller, and they're awesome and made me appreciate the show even more. So yeah, guys, this is super exciting, so let's get into it, but before we start, there are going to be no spoilers. There might be some. There might be like one or two, but you know, you'll see in the video spoilers, so you can skip ahead and wait till the little spoiler thing is gone. So I just want to let you guys know that. And if you guys enjoy this, please smack the like and subscribe if you're new here, because you definitely won't regret it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and comment with comment if you agree, disagree. You know. So yeah, let's just get into it. But yeah. To start this off, Daredevil is one of my favorite superheroes ever. It's number one's Batman for me, number two Spider-Man, number three is my man Matthew Murdock. I absolutely love him. I love that he's able to stand up for what he believes in, even when it means losing his friends. You know, when he's up against the impossible, he's willing to fight for true justice and put down evil pretty much. I love that he's willing to do that. I love his like blind abilities how he's he can't see like you and me but he can see differently basically his other four senses are so ridiculously enhanced that he can see people through buildings he can see your heartbeat you can tell when you're lying through your heartbeat he can see a bunch of crazy shit that none of us can see and it's so damn cool like it's you can tell you're there by you breathing it's i love those powers i love his character he's such a well-written character but yeah, now that I got that out of the way, let's move on to season one of the show. To me, season one is as close as you can get to perfect. I absolutely loved season one. It was phenomenal. Basically, the story is Matthew Murdoch, who's a lawyer by day, working with his two buddies, Karen Page and Foggy Nelson at Nelson and Murdoch, is a superhero by night. He's a mass vigilante looking to take down the criminal underworld of Hell's Kitchen ruled by one crazy guy who is the kingpin, aka Wilson Fisk. And the way they execute the story is fucking awesome. I absolutely love the story of the show. They pull it off so goddamn well. I really love it. The acting is second to none to me. I love the acting, especially from two people specific, actually three. I don't want to forget about Foggy because he's awesome. He was perfectly cast. But Charlie Cox as Daredevil is phenomenal. He's in top 10 for me. You know, up there with like Heath Ledger, Walking Phoenix as Joker. He's up there for me. I really love his Daredevil. I also really love Vincent D'Onofrio's Wilson Fisk. He was amazing. He was able to do something so special with King Thing that we haven't seen before. And it really paid off. He was able to make him crazy. He was able to make him just pure scary evil while also being sympathetic. Like he has like a soft side that we really don't see that often. Not that big of a spoiler, but his origin story, basically, he kills his very abusive dad while he's abusing the hell out of his mom, and he kills him pretty brutally, and you can kind of, like, understand why he's, like, a little bit deranged. They they do it so well, and they make him really well, they really make him a humanized character. Also, when he's with Vanessa, it's really good, because you can see his really soft side and the love he has for her. And I really love how they were able to pull that off. But yeah, the story is just phenomenal. It's gripping. It's tense. You're just glued to your screen the whole time. There's a lot of twists and turns that'll surprise you. The cinematography is just excellent. It's really dark. And you really, you get a vibe from Hell's Kitchen. Like it's the shithole it is pretty much. Run by just crime. And one of my favorites, pretty much... Yeah, one of my favorite scenes is the hallway scene, the hallway fight scene. The way it's shot is just so excellent. 
it all looks like it's in one take and i really love it that's another thing the fight scenes in this show wow they're amazing i either like them or i love them and there's a lot that i love in this show holy crap the fight scene the hallway fight scene the the final battle with matt murdoch and wilson fisk man every fight scene is just so good so brutal and so it's grounded in realism i think these fight scenes are a lot better than the mcu ones to be honest because there's a lot of emotional value at stake and it's so damn good i really cannot praise the fight scenes in this show enough but yeah like i said earlier season one is as close as you can get to perfect to me that's why i'm giving it a 10 out of 10 <laughs> fucking awesome i love season one Moving on to season two, I don't think the season is as strong as season one, but I really do like it. One of my main complaints about the season is the ninja villains, the hand. I think they're super dull and super weak, to be honest. I don't find them interesting. They're not as cool as Wilson Fisk. They're just very boring. I know some people like them, but personally, they don't do nothing for me. They're just a group of basic ninjas that I don't care about. But basically the story is Daredevil and an old friend, a couple of old friends actually, are taking on the hand, a group of secret ninjas. And meanwhile during all that, a man known as the Punisher is wreaking havoc on Hell's Kitchen. Let me just say, the Punisher, John Berthenol's Punisher, remember him from The Walking Dead? He is awesome. I really love his Punisher. He's able to make him batshit crazy and make him human at the same time. And they do such a good job with that. I really love the execution of the Punisher. I surprisingly haven't seen his show, but I'm probably going to check it out soon. But yeah, the acting from pretty much everybody across the board. Punisher is just great. Daredevil, of course, is great. Foggy, amazing. And there's also a new character. They introduce Elektra, who basically was Matthew's girlfriend. They have a complicated relationship. She comes back into the picture because she needs Daredevil's help with the hand. And I have never been a big fan of Elektra, to be honest. But in this show, I really do like her. She's very unlikable at first. But once you start to understand her more, once they go into her more, you start to like her even more and more. And by the end, you really do like her. She has a pretty cool redemption arc. Also, Stick, who's basically Matthew's father figure after his real father passed away. It's so cool. He's such an asshole, but he's so cool. I really enjoyed a lot of scenes with him. There's one I'll always find funny. You know, Elektra's wounded by the hand. Um, the Daredevil, Matthew, and Stick are trying to help her. They're trying to get her medical care. Stick's telling Matthew, hey, give me this, 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 and make a tea. And he gets her all the items, and he gets him the tea, and he just wanted a tea to drink. It wasn't for anything at all. He's just such a dick, but he pulls it off so well. I thought the actor for Stick was awesome. But yeah, if there's one thing that, that's just better than Season 1, it's the fight scenes. I think the fight scenes are better than this than Season 1. And Wow. There's a fight scene with Punisher that's awesome. There's one where Daredevil takes on a bunch of bikers, and he just kicks all of their ass. Oh my god, there's a lot of fights in here that are really good. They're really awesome. I really enjoy them, and I enjoyed them better in... In this season than in the first one and that's a saying a lot because the ones in season one are awesome but yeah overall i didn't enjoy this much i enjoyed it but overall i enjoyed the season but not nearly as much as season one so i'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 again it's good pretty much all the stuff with the ninjas is just really flat and dull to me but everything with daredevil and the punisher is awesome especially that rooftop scene that rooftop scene was god tier my god i i like this season but not nearly as much as season one and while i'm here i might as well talk about the defenders i'm not the biggest fan of the defenders to be honest basically the, the netflix avengers you know with daredevil jessica jones iron fist and luke cage it just continues that whole ninja storyline from season two they all team up to take down them once and for all and i mainly just like all the scenes that are without that ninja organization i think they're good but a large percent of the show is dedicated to them and for me that is very boring i've only seen this once though i haven't seen it like since it came out because i wanted to know what happens to to matthew before season three 
because that was really all I was interested in. But I'll admit, this show did get me to watch Jessica Jones, and that was really good. Overall, uh, I'm not a big fan of Defenders. I know people like it, but it's just not for me. I like it, but not that much. So I'm going to just give this a 7 out of 10. Season 3, however? Oh. My God. If you love Season 1, you'll definitely love Season 3. My God. Season 3 was just awesome. I don't know if I could tell you this story without spoiling the rest of the show, but basically, it's Daredevil versus Wilson Fisk again. And there's another guy, Bullseye, Poindexter. It's basically them three against each other. I don't know how else I can say it without spoiling it. But yeah, that's that's the story. That's the story the best I can phrase it. And yeah, season three is just awesome. The story is phenomenal. It the season this is definitely the most tense season. Everything is so at stake in this season. Anyone literally feel like they can die. It's so tense that way. And there are a few character deaths in here that will generally surprise you. That you will not see coming at all. And wow, they pulled that off really well. I was really on the edge of my seat the first time I saw it. And I watched it again. Loved it again. This show actually... I watched this with a friend. And now they are a big Daredevil fan. And that just fills me with immense joy. Yeah, the acting. Oh my god, the acting. I could talk about the acting all day. Charlie Cox is phenomenal in this season. He is basically just a broken man in this season, but he's still fighting for what he believes in, and it's so awesome to see. Wilson Fisk is back and phenomenal once again. Poindexter, the new character they introduced, Bullseye, I thought he was such a good villain. He was he managed to be scary. Just plain evil, just relatable. Like, he's very sympathetic, and he managed to also be a complete dick. Like, he has a really sad backstory, but he's also a giant dick. I thought Foggy shined like a motherfucker in this season. The new, another new character, Ray Nadim, who's an FBI agent, basically gets played by Fist, but then realizes it. I thought his story was phenomenal. I thought he was fantastic. Overall, the story and the characters, they all really grow in this season. It's so awesome to see. Now, let me talk about the fight scenes in Season 3. Oh, my God. The final one is truly something special. There's one in a prison where Matthew goes to prison to get information on Fisk. It turns into a big fucking brawl where he has to fight for his life and get the hell out of there. He has to work with criminals to get out of there. And it was so well done. It was so intense. Oh my god, love that prison scene. The fight scenes between Daredevil and Poindexter, aka Bullseye, were just awesome. <laughs> what I really love they did with the fight scenes is that even though he, I don't want to spoil it too much, but he loses the majority of his fights with Poindexter, but he doesn't look like a chump when he does it. He doesn't look stupid when he does it. What I hate in movies and shows is that when the hero has to lose, he will look like the biggest jackass on earth. But in here, Daredevil doesn't look that way. He just loses because he has a skill that's way better than his. And that's... Poindexter has the ability to just throw anything. He could, he throws anything and it's a weapon. Like, he'll throw a dildo at you and he'll fucking murder you with it. <laughs> he just has that ability to get range and just throw shit at you. But the only way for Daredevil to beat him is to get up close to him and beat the living hell out of him. And he does. It's just that he's in the full armored suit and he's constantly trying to run away. So they did a really good job with that. Not making Daredevil look like some idiot. Because he really isn't. But they did such a good job with that. Overall, the fighting I think is the best in season 3. It's brutal. It's intense. And it hits hard. Like These, these fight scenes make me want to run through a wall and just... Go out in the street and pick a fight. I'm not going to, obviously. But, oh my god, they are so damn cool. There is one more thing I like to touch on, and it's a spoiler thing. So you'll see a spoiler letting you know this is a big spoiler. But once you see it go away, we're not talking about that anymore. But in this season, Matthew is going through some stuff in his head. And basically, he's very tempted to cross the line he never crosses. He never wants to kill, but in this season... He really wants to kill Wilson Fisk because he's lost faith in the justice system because of how easily he was able to get out of prison and into this nice, 
fucking million dollar penthouse under house arrest and he's able to manipulate all the fbi agents i love that you know he's tempted to murder him like that thought is in his mind and like i said earlier in the majority of the season poindexter bullseye he's got the daredevil suit the red suit pretty much the whole season and i love that he's like a symbol for what matthew could be like what daredevil could be if he just crossed that line and started killing like would he be this giant psycho who just murders everybody in a church in a you know an office would he would he be that person i really like that symbolism they did with uh poindexter it really made you think as well okay enough about spoilers overall season three i think is the strongest season to come out of daredevil and it was sadly the last but i want to give it an 11 out of 10 because it's that damn good i enjoyed it that damn much very very nice season and then it was canceled I will never forgive you Netflix for canceling it. It wasn't even canceled because it was bad. It was canceled because of some bullshit between Disney and Netflix, you know. It's like, what can you do? But thankfully, this wrapped up pretty nicely. There was still a loose end. Because they basically teased the season 4, but obviously it didn't happen. But at least it's got a nice happy ending, kind of, you know. It's not the worst ending, but they definitely shouldn't have teased the season four, you know. But what can you do? Overall, absolutely love the Daredevil show. Like I said, it's in my top five. Number one's Breaking Bad for me. Number two, Dexter, even with its shitty seasons. Number three, Daredevil. Number four, Stranger Things. And five. Well, shit, I don't know what five would be, but in my top four. <laughs> yeah absolutely love this show and i think that's going to be it today guys this was really fun to make i really enjoyed talking about one of my all-time favorite shows with you guys it was super exciting and i can't wait to talk about another one of my favorite shows some other time because this was really fun i really enjoyed re-watching it with a friend like i'm really happy she's a fan of daredevil now because i'm a big fan of the character now oh my god wow this was super fun to make. I, you know, I got in the whole Daredevil costume gear for you guys. But yeah, that'll be it, guys. I'm going to catch you guys later because right now, actually. I actually see an assault going on right now in a few buildings near me. So I'm going to go stop that. They're calling the cops right now. Oh, no, they're busting in. So. I gotta go stop that. I gotta go fight some crime. I'm gonna go beat them unconscious. So I'll catch you guys later.